Can I uh, bring you back to the mindset? Because um, you, you mentioned the mindset. Um, and and what, do, what do you see there? Because I, I mean, it's literally in our tagline, we want you to think different with data is really about a mindset approach to data. Yeah. And, um, and, and, and I've, you know, I've, I've got a lot of thoughts on that, but I want to hear what you think uh, mindset is first. Um, and then um, uh, and, and see if, if, if what I think is similar or whatever, but, but, but please share what, what you yeah, think. Yeah, I would, is. I'd love to riff on this a little bit because I certainly have my, my angle. Um, yeah. So I, when I think of mindset in the context of data literacy, I think um, what are people's, it's, it's fear, it's mm -hmm. um, curiosity, it's, um, it's a gift when people say something like, I'm not a data person, mm -hmm. because they're actually giving you insight into what their thought process is. Um, so I think you lean into that and you meet them where they are mm -hmm. with that mindset. Um, so it's things like, I'm not a data person. It's, uh, that's an IT thing. Um, that doesn't relate to me. So a lot of times mindset will land, manif mindset will manifest as these limiting beliefs, I would say, yeah. is a way to describe it. Um, and so having uh, an engagement strategy to be able to address the mindset and because here's the thing, a lot of people think data literacy is set up a training academy and you're done. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, it's, it's a piece of it, but who's going to go, <laughs> who's going to go take those training courses if they don't even think it's relevant right. or they're scared to death of it. So I think you have to walk through the mindset door before you're even going to get people to be interested in any of the development projects. Well, yeah, but the difference being that now it's a requirement. Like there's not there's not if you want to learn this stuff. There's like it's when or if you do it all yeah. before you exit the workforce. Yeah, yeah and a sure. lot of my mindset part lately has been going to what is truly actionable um, because I'm seeing a lot of companies that can make dashboards They've got 3,000 dashboards created by their employees, and they feel that maybe two of them are actually worth a darn. But what they're really frustrated is they'll get into meetings, and they leave, and they feel like nothing's happened. And um, I actually just did a training uh, for a company here in town, and I made them do data storytelling. And they had to get up in front and, and give me, you know, based on a data set and give us their actionable conclusions. And I kept hearing the word explore or do more data stuff. And, and I, I finally had to play the act of the CIO and say, all right, did you just come here and present in front of me as the CIO, again, I'm playing that role, and tell me that you got to go do more work? Or are you telling me, giving me a recommendation? What's actionable? What am I going to do after I leave this room? And, and it's just that mindset is so different. It's when you're a data person, all you want to do is go get more data. All you want to do is go more, explore more. All you want to do is create the next visual. What you don't do, which is the hard part, is really take that data and figure out what's actionable and then follow through to action, which we all know is really hard. And, yeah. and so, you know, this idea of a visualization is data storytelling. No, it's not. No. Right. Uh, data storytelling is an opportunity to create a conversation that really leads to a result. And, um, you know, and so I just, every time I talk about mindset now, I, people are like, it's almost like I'm talking a foreign language to them. Um, mm -hmm. so, so that's where my uh, uh, mindset part goes to. I know when it's holistic for an organization, it's probably a little bit different, but people are coming to me now because they want action. They want value yeah. out of their data. And, and, and yeah. that's you know, the hard part. Building off of that, I, we all know those people who are just brilliant at getting to the clear and compelling point. Mm -hmm. You know, there's all kinds of people who like dance around it. And then you have somebody in the room that's like, yeah, so we just, what you're saying is this, 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 and we just need to do this. And everybody's mm -hmm. like, yeah, we've been in this meeting for an hour and you just kind of summarize the whole thing. Yes. That's what we want. We want those people that could just get yes. to the point, right? What's the essence of the narrative? And then what's the point? 